Hi, you guys, and welcome back. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you new just tuning in. This is the Daily Telepathy for those of you that identify with the Twin Flame Connection. Uh, that means it's general, so it's not going to resonate with every Twin Flame out there. Okay, so I just wanted to um, say quickly, I hope you guys had a, a good weekend. And there's a lot of stuff coming up. Um, well, not a lot of stuff, but Earth Day is coming up this week. And so I have created um, a couple new uh, sprays um, in a celebration of Earth Day. I have a total of like three body, uh, well, um, body spray and uh, protection spray. So I'm going to just tell you really quickly about that before I get started. Um, the rose milk one here, Body Splash, this is in the Mother's Day uh, gift box uh, right now. Um, I will have this available up on my Etsy shop uh, individual if you guys want to get it. Uh, just want to get the um, spray itself. And so I also have this eucalyptus, eucalyptus and <laughs> if I can say it, eucalyptus and peppermint uh, body splash. Um, this has a eucalyptus uh, leaf inside here um, as well as the peppermint spray. It's good for you guys like if you're like me and you don't like bees and stuff like that flying around you that kind of warts off that. And then I have this energy clearing um, protection spray and it is um, sage and Palo Santo uh, fragrance in it and there's a, a sage inside here. So this is really good to uh, clear your energy especially if you can't just take like a sage stick you know, um, uh, wherever you go and burn it, you know, um, it's good. You can spray it, you know, in, in your house, in your car, you know, wherever. Anyway, just want to let you guys know that I have those two things, uh, the two new sprays, but all of these will be listed on my Etsy shop, uh, sometime today. Okay. So getting back to the reading, um, like I said, this is general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone in the collective. I do offer personal readings, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below the video description where it says show more, as well as all these decks I'll be using here today. The majority of the items you see will be listed below as well as my Instagram and TikTok uh, information, including uh, the candles and the sprays that I just uh, showed you. Okay, so... Um, with that being said, I'm going to do things a little bit different today. I'm going to get the general energy of the masculine, not necessarily towards the feminine, and then the feminine's general energy, their shared energy, and then we'll see like what's going on with the masculine. Now, there will be an extended version, um, like all, like usual. Uh, the link to my Patreon uh, will be below, and I will tell you what we'll go into the extended more once I get more into the reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these energies surrounding um, the masculine. Like, where's the masculine's general energy? I'm going to pull the three cards out first because I've noticed um, when I do things, like, I, I'd like to uh, better my skills, so to speak. So I do a practice on a regular basis to try out new methods. And so I'm just going to pull the three cards for the masculine, three cards for the feminine, and their shared energy and then I'm, I'll talk about it once I see it okay because sometimes the first card could come out with a meaning but by the time that third card comes out it could change the whole meaning okay so we have professional assistance number seven people that could be significant that number and we have number five cycle transformation and then we have number uh, six playing it safe okay so we already have a five six and seven energy here where i see progression energy so what i'm getting here off of this masculine this masculine is in this energy where he's ready to close out a cycle okay um he's going through some type of transformation maybe he's been playing it safe um he could be in a, a situation where he's involved in a legal matter, a legal agreement, a contract, and this is being transformed, okay? He's wanting to go to the other side of this bridge and get out of this playing it safe energy. And he could also be seeking some type of assistance to help him get out of this playing it safe energy. So this could be an energy of feeling stuck uh, in a, a relationship, stuck in a job, or anything, but he is seeking some type of help. There is a major transformation going on with the masculine, okay? That's where his general energy is at. 
So let's go ahead and get um, the feminine's uh, general uh, energy. Let's just put them there for now because they're just going to fall down anyway. <laughs> all right. As long as I can see them, that's really all that matters. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get the feminine's uh, energy. I'm probably going to put those cards back up there. You guys, you know, I'll get a little scattered, especially over the weekend when I first start doing a reading. So let's go ahead and get three cards uh, for the feminine's uh, general energy. Okay, we have number four, spirit, angels of the four directions. That four can be significant. We have number seven, intentions, the honoring path. And then we have here... Number one, events, great achievement. Okay, so this is a really good energy for the feminine right now, okay? So she's being protected by spirit. She feels the protection from spirit. Angels of the four directions is about being protected from all sides. You know, the north, the east, the west, and the south, feeling secure and stable. And then we have this honoring path. This feminine could also be... Um, Receiving some type of public recognition or attention from other people could be uh, in the public eye or just being recognized by spirit. Maybe she's recognizing that spirit is recognizing her, <laughs> but there's a great achievement. OK, there's an event. There's something that this feminine is feeling confident and secure and protected. It's something, you know, major, like it's a major change for this feminine. OK, um. So, like I said, four, seven, and one can be um, significant as well. So, let's go ahead and get, um, I'm going to move these back up here. I changed my mind, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's get their uh, shared energy. So, we have friends and colleague. Uh, so, number three, people, okay? And we have optimism, number one, consciousness, and then we have number three events. Okay, wow. So there is some major events going on uh, with the feminine and the masculine, or they are focused on some type of event. There is something changing. So there is a shift in intentions, uh, cycles, and relationships. Okay, because we have people here. All right, so we have friends and colleagues. So this feminine and this masculine. We could uh, have like uh, mutual friends and colleagues uh, within their connection, or they could be thinking about going out with friends and colleagues. They both maybe wanting just to get out and socialize, mingle amongst other people, be in a more celebratory party type of atmosphere. Okay. And then we both have this optimism. Okay. So they both are in this energy where they're starting to feel optimistic, maybe optimistic about, you know, getting out with other people, celebration, maybe even possible reunion. Uh, it doesn't have to be about them. It could be about friends, but this is their shared uh, energy. Okay. Um, their things are looking brighter or starting to see the sun in a situation. Um, you know, things are just really feeling lighter, okay? And then we have number three, events, commitment. So what I'm getting is they're both feeling optimistic about this relationship when it comes to them. They may also be feeling like there's friends and colleagues that may be assisting them. Um, these friends could also be spirit uh, helping. Um, so we have three, one, and three. So I'm seeing threes, sevens, and ones heavily. So those numbers you may see a lot. Ones are about new beginnings. Threes could indicate other parties uh, involved in a situation, friends, family, love interests. And <clears throat> seven is spirit, okay? Spirit uh, it, it is a highly spiritual uh, uh, number and being, you know, connected with source and spirit helping uh, with this relationship. So what I get is the both of them feel optim optimistic about this relationship, about this commitment. Um, where exactly are they feeling optimistic that, you know, maybe this will come together at some point or in the future, but that's where their energy is at. Okay. So let's go ahead and, um, go ahead and see what's going on with the masculine at this time. All right. So normally these readings are shorter. Okay. I'm already at nine minutes. 
but I, if I have time on Mondays, I do like to give you guys a little bit longer of a reading. So let's go ahead and see what is going on with the masculine uh, at this time. What's happening uh, with the masculine, okay? This is my mystery house deck. If you live in the United States and you're interested in any of my decks, you can get them from my site or my Etsy shop. But if you're international, uh, please send me an email. I will send you a link to uh, order, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the masculine. Let's get three cards here. What's going on with the masculine? Walking Dead, see? This masculine is walking, uh, feeling like he's just doing nothing, okay? It's a daily routine. It's no passion. And this is why he wants to transform this. He doesn't want to be in this playing it safe, staying behind the fence. And so he is seeking some type of assistance or there is an energy around him where he's tied into some type of paperwork. So I do see papers here. I see signing. So I do feel some of them are involved in legal relationships, marriages, you know, um, even, you know, even if some of them may not be with whoever they are, it could be a legal separation going on, something formal regarding paperwork. Okay, so let's go ahead and get another card for what's going on with the masculine at this time. Disguise. Okay, this masculine is wearing a disguise. Um, you know, where we have this costume pretending. Um, this masculine could also be wanting to get away from this pretending of this daily routine. No passion because we do have this transformation of this energy. So let's get another card here of what else is going on with the masculine. So we have severed. Yeah. So we have hung up, no communication, lost. So what I'm getting here is this masculine wants to be done and over with the disguise, with the daily routine um, of no passion and just doing the same thing over, playing it safe. And he is seeking some type of assistance to change that, okay? He is trying to get out of that energy. So there is some type of uh, cutoff of this being uh, fake uh, type of energy. All right, so let me get, I'm gonna get a couple more cards from my situations deck. All right, this is uh, my situations deck. So let's go ahead and get three more cards for what's going on with the masculine at this time. All right, <laughs> three cards came out. So I'm gonna take it because I did say three and um, spirit give me three. All right. So we have here poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors, people. This is what's going on with the masculine. This is him, him or people around him. Okay. And then we have this pretended energy again. So it's definitely, there's a pretending, a hiding, fake, living beyond means. And this masculine is feeling like he wants to get away from that. Okay. He wants to transform this fake, uh, pretending, uh, type of energy. Some of them could be uh, living beyond their means. And then we have this interview. So talk, conversations, get on the same page. So what I'm getting here is this masculine is talking, seeking professional assistance. Some of them could be seeking a lawyer. Um, hopefully I don't knock this all down. This professional assistance. Some of them are having a conversation with someone uh, and talking about these unhealthy behaviors, this pretending, this fake uh, no longer wanting to be in this fake energy, wanting to transform that energy and getting away from it, wanting to get on the same page about where they're at when it comes to this fake behavior. Okay. So I'm going to get a card here for each of these and then, um, in the extended, I will dive further into these, uh, energies. So let's see, what does this have to do with? This is the light seers tarot. What is this, uh, walking dead daily routine of passion? Yeah, the link to the extended of my Patreon is listed below if you want to dive a little bit deeper uh, with me. Well, I'll go further into these uh, energies. So, give me a card, please, bear it for this walking dead daily routine on passion that's going on with the masculine. Knight of Wands. Yeah, see, there's no passion. Well, we have the Knight of Wands here, okay? Knight of Wands is all about passion, okay? And... The Knight of Wands takes action uh, towards this. Uh, the problem here with the Knight of Wands, if there are some toxic, unhealthy behaviors going on with this masculine, it could have the tendency to kind of go back and forth, come in and out of a situation, 
this could also be the masculine just taking action towards this uh, life of not having any passion, wanting to transform it, wanting to get out of it, of that energy, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. I will see who that Knight of Wands is in the extended and why they're uh, there. So what is going on with the masculine? What is this disguise? What is this costume pretending? Okay, so what I'm getting here is this masculine is pretending that he's not interested. And what I'm getting is curious and ideas that he's not watching, he's not looking. What I'm seeing here is there's a lot of energy around paperwork and books, okay? So what I'm getting here as a side message, this may not be for everybody, is that this masculine could be reading a lot to try to avoid toxic people and behaviors of other people and you know trying to find a way to escape from what's going around them he could also be learning something that is teaching him that he wants to transform this energy how to get out of this same old you know lack of passion type of energy page of swords is all about investigating okay investigating watching um he could also be pretending that he's not offended by somebody that is keeping an eye on him because this is going on with the masculine. He could also be uh, pretending that, um, he, you know, like this, if there's somebody that's watching him, that he's not, it doesn't bother him. It, it's not on him, but he could also be hiding that he's watching someone else too. Okay. He could be watching the feminine or investigating, you know, uh, new opportunities, Okay, uh, with the page here, this could be somebody that's younger or, uh, you know, an age difference or immature that is uh, source energy is uh, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. So what is this severed energy here? What is this hung up? No communication loss that is going on with the masculine. Ooh, the emperor. Okay. I feel like for some of them, okay, because the emperor is somebody that can be a father. This is somebody that takes control of a situation. Um, I feel like I, I'm getting a lot of downloads right now, a lot of channeling. I feel like this masculine does not feel in control of the situation. I feel like this masculine feels demasculated. De um, there also could be where this masculine pride, there's no longer a pride situation going on where that information is, is or that situation is being transformed. Um, I'm also getting here for some of you guys, uh, the ones that are being fake and pretending they are being threatened by some person and uh, about cutting off their privileges as a father. Um, and this is why they've been faking this situation, but now they're tired of it because this is being transformed and some of them are seeking help. They're getting professional assistance to get away from this because somebody is trying, uh, they're tired of being watched and investigated and dealing with and pretending like everything is okay it's like it just keeps on happening like what i'm getting is sometimes uh whoever they're dealing with it pretends like they're not going to do that anymore and then they just do it all over again okay so that's for some and then for others with this emperor energy some of you guys could be dealing with an aries um this could also be their job situation okay some of them may have lost their job and this could also be uh, causing a, a major transformation now in them trying to seek some type of professional assistance to get help, okay? Because it did mention living beyond means, so that's gonna apply to some and not everybody. But there's some type of major transformation um, that is going on with the masculine that could be changing this whole outlook on about this playing it safe energy. So what is this poison um, toxic? unhealthy behaviors people that is going on with the masculine so we have the star card and this is a sign of aquarius okay so some of you guys could be dealing with aquarius um this is about healing 
This is about wish fulfillment. This is about renewal. So I feel like this masculine is wanting to heal from this toxic, unhealthy behavior. Uh, so there's a transformation here going on from playing it safe. Playing it safe was just staying here in this same daily routine, doing the same thing. But now there is a major healing. There's a look up here to the sky. Uh, at seeking help is what I'm getting. You know, seeking help, looking for uh, these wishes to uh, be fulfilled. So there is some type of energy where this masculine is wanting to heal this energy. Heal this toxic behavior, whether this was him or people around him, um, but he's wanting to heal it. Okay, so we have number 17 that could also be significant, it's also an eight. So, what is this pretending? What is this fake living beyond means energy? So, we have three of wands. Okay, three of wands is a card of waiting. You made a decision to move forward, but you're waiting for something um, to go. You know, you're waiting for your ships to come in before you make that move, okay? So this is something that I feel like either some of them could be waiting for a, a sign, um, a signal uh, to move forward or to make some type of change, or some of them are realizing that they've been going, they've just been in this energy of being fake and being and pretending, okay? Okay. Um, They've been faking that things are going to move forward or this could be someone around them that's been faking that, you know, they're going to move forward and things are going to change, but nothing is changing. That's what I'm getting here from this. But it's also another three. OK, so definitely could be involved with a, a third party situation um, going on. But there is a transformation, whatever this energy is. And like I said, I will go a little bit further here. Um in this energy. So some of them are currently still in this energy of being fake, but they're wanting to change it. They're wanting to take action. And that's why the page of swords is here because it's investigating. How do I do this? And this is why I'm getting that they're seeking some type of help in order to do this. They could also be trying to seek help through friends, um, to come towards the divine feminine through other people, okay, uh, friend, with that friends and the optimism, uh, optimism uh, energy, optimistic energy, <laughs> if I can get that out, all right, so let's see what else is going on with the masculine, what is this interview, uh, talk, get on the same page about the moon, okay, all right, <laughs> a lot of major arcana, so again, there's major stuff, so the major Signs here are, this is Pisces, Aquarius, and Aries. It could be specific to those particular signs. So there is, the moon is all about things, um, fears, and things that are hidden, okay? As you see, this person is kind of drowning, and they're they're drowning here in this, this water of emotions um, about something that's being hidden. So what I'm getting here, some of them could be uh, going through the silent treatment here. Some of them could be afraid to talk because of the actions and consequences that's going to take place or what someone has been um, possibly threatening, threatening to them. And they could also want to uh, transform this energy because they don't know what's going on with the feminine on the outside. OK, because there is a shared energy of friends and optimism about this commitment between the two of you and they don't know what's going on. And what I'm getting is because they don't know what's going on and whatever fears, illusions that they've been dealing with, this is bringing things to the surface for them about their daily life that has no passion. Um, uh, whatever they're dealing with, whatever this poison uh, energy is, OK, um, some of them could have a Pisces in their world, uh, Aquarius and Aries, which I already mentioned. And um, there could be a child or someone uh, less mature in the inner world as well. Okay. So there is some energy here where the masculine is transforming this plane itself. And he is a plane, plane safe energy. Uh, there's a major transformation going on and he's trying to get help to get out of that. And he's possibly receiving help either through friends, uh, lawyers, or even spirit. Okay. 
The feminine has already achieved something great. She is connected with source for the ones that I'm reading for here. And they're, uh, the, the feminine is honoring the, that path that she's supposed to do. So she's doing what she is here for, okay? There has been a great achievement. There has been accomplishment. But this masculine is dealing with toxic behaviors and he's aware of it and he wants to change it, okay? That's what I have for you. All right, so in extended, I'm going to go ahead and go further into these energies and then I'll get some messages uh, from the masculine because I'm already like, yeah, way into this reading. <laughs> um, I'll get some more uh, to see what's going on with this masculine and then see what action is, is the next step is he likely to take um, towards this connection towards the feminine, okay? So if you're interested in extended, the link to my Patreon is below. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Oh, before that, please hit the like button <laughs> and comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. So back that up. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.